Hi guys, this is Frugal Cookie back with another video. This is my first face on video, so hello. Um, it's slightly different to the other videos. I'm not going to go through any freebies or samples or anything like that today. I haven't really got much to show you, so I will hold off on that for a little while longer. Um, today is about um, some products that I have got to the end of and um, so I'll be out with the old products and in with the new and I will give you a brief overview of how I found the products, um, you know, how they worked for me and um, would I recommend them, that kind of thing. And then I will go over the new products that I plan to introduce into my regime and um, some of the new products I have used before um, and I, I will go through that with you. Okay, so let's make a start. Um, the yeah, so the first product here is this Rituals Volume Mascara. This was just a small 1.5 ml sample that I received in a magazine, and um, I really liked it. I really liked the um, the brush. It's very fine and um, you know it did wonders with my eyelashes. What I liked is that um, it created individual eyelashes rather than clumping them together so it was a really nice product. Um, I got this with a magazine but um, I have made a note of, um, of how much these retail at so these are actually about £17.50 on the Rituals website. Um, as well at the moment a lot of the companies are doing this um, they have freebies on their website so for instance if you spend 45 pounds or more at the moment you get freebies um, it's normally like a little gift bag um, with a couple of samples in I think this particular one they said is worth 10 pounds um, the mascara itself the for £17.50 is 8.5 mils. It sounds like nothing, but they do last a good length of time. Okay, so that was the first item. And um, we have another mascara here, and this is the the other one. This was a 2.8 ml sample and it's Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara from Estee Lauder. Um, this I think was just within a gift set or a sample that I received at the time of buying more products. Um, I used to buy a really nice um, sort of like a cream from them, it was a moisturiser and then when you put it on your skin it was like a grey sort of colour and then it kind of developed into a, um, a darker colour, so not like a proper foundation. Um, but it had a hint of a colour in there when it developed, which was quite nice. Um, yeah, so this is um, £21 for 6 mils. Um, again, it's got a really nice sort of fine um, brush, which is great for definition. Um, as well, they are also doing a free gift. It looks like quite a nice one, and that's with any purchase over thirty-five pounds. So it's definitely worth, you know, if you're going to buy products from them anyway, and if you go into the stores and say they don't have a gift on, for instance, you might as well, you know, shop around and see what's going to offer you the best deal. Sometimes they do the gift in store in Boots, and if they have the um, the triple points offer, then it's definitely worth going there. Um, but if they don't have a gift on and they don't have the triple points off it, it's worth checking their website just to see if there are any other deals. Um, okay. Um, okay, yeah, the next thing is this uh, Lancome cleanser, um, gentle softening cleanser fluid for face and eyes. I was using this um, sort of as a makeup remover almost. Um, it's it does tend to just kind of move things around on your face you know I probably wouldn't recommend it as a makeup remover I tried it on my eyes and it just kind of smeared everything everywhere um, but just as a general cleanser it's quite nice it's um, very hydrating um, 
yeah this is a 50 ml sample and again i think i got this as part of a gift set um when buying full size products um <clears throat> because on their website they sell their 400 ml um, bottle and that seems to be the only size that it comes in and that's 36 pounds quite expensive um considering i have got other cleansers that do exactly the same thing that are a bit cheaper than that so i probably won't be buying that again anytime soon um sorry about the uh the snotty nose i've got a bit of hay fever i think um the next thing is this cow shed um grumpy cow uplifting body lotion i really like the bottle i like the packaging um but the actual lotion inside no i can take it or leave it it's got a scent to it which is quite um it's like creamy but also citrusy and i just don't think cream and citrus are a very good match um yeah so it says essential oils a red mandarin um petty grain and grapefruit i absolutely not keen on grapefruit usually so that's probably one of the main reasons also the cream itself it's very thin um and it's quite sort of greasy like you put it on and then i just kind of think well i'm not it's not doesn't sit right for me so i won't be getting that one again unfortunately i think that came free with a magazine so yeah i mean it was a fairly decent um sized sample it is the full size product that um, that they sell for £10 on their website. Um, it looks like it's currently down to £6 at the moment. I'm not sure if that's a permanent thing. Um, but I wouldn't pay £10 for 100ml of that to be honest with you. Um, next is this Ren face cream. It's the Vita Mineral Daily Moisturising Supplement. Um, it's really nice. I've been using this in the, the mornings and it's quite nice and light yet really hydrating on my skin. <laughs> I don't know why I'm smelling it again. I know what it smells like but um, it's got a very light sort of rosy scent so it's definitely something that I would pick up again. Um, let's just see how much that one is. Okay so yeah this was a 13 ml sample. This lasted me Mm, just over a week I would say using it in the mornings only um, I think I might have picked it up for the magazine I'm not too sure it's £20 for a 50ml um, a bottle um, and I think at the moment on their website they do two free samples with any purchase so yeah that's quite good you know you purchase one thing and then you get a sample of something else to try which might work for you it's a great way to try things you know i can't stress that enough there's so many products out there like millions of products and a lot of them do the same thing and i think if you get comfortable with something you tend to stay with it however there might be something better out there that you haven't tried but why would you try it if you're happy with what you have so if you're offered it for free and you try it and you think hmm, okay this is a bit cheaper than what I normally use I actually really like this this works for me um, then that's great it's a great way of kind of converting you to another product which you ordinarily might not have tried um, okay so Hypnose this is the Lancome Hypnose perfume it's a small sample um, I think it's a 5ml bottle the um, the perfume itself, let's see how much that is, I think, I think it's about £39 um, for a, a 30ml bottle of this, it is a really nice scent, I do like it, um, I've got a lot of perfume and I did have a lot of big bottles, I've been using um, L by Yves Saint Laurent and I absolutely love it, it's in a long pink thin bottle and it just smells absolutely divine um, but I've got to the end of a couple of my perfumes recently and I've got so many samples like this just knocking around so I think I might as well use them before they go before they go off and you know um, they're not gonna last forever so definitely rather than sticking with my old faithful which I have been doing for so long um, I thought it was worth just trying something new 
and I really liked this one so I probably would get it again but as I'm in the sort of um, in the mood to try new things at the moment not just yet um, and I think at the moment I might have mentioned it actually on the Lancome um, site for offers they've currently got um, a gift with any order over £50 um, and you have to put in a code which is all in capital letters and that's August treat so we are at the end of August now so if you are going to buy something and you know it's going to cost you over £50 definitely worth putting in any of the codes and things like that sometimes um, you know sometimes there's an offer sometimes there isn't but if you're going to buy it you might as well get it while the offer's there um, and then finally the last thing is this Ico uh, skinny eye pencil mm, not sure if you can see that um, and I got this um, from ASOS um, initially I tried it through a magazine and it was quite dry and I thought maybe it's because it's come from a magazine and I hadn't used it for a long time and then I tried it um, so I thought I'll give it another try and see what it's like but it's um it draws really well at first it draws literally like a felt tip pen um but as well i mean it's doesn't really draw very much at all now it's um you get a couple of uses out of it where it's really good and then if you've got sort of um if you've got any eyeshadow or makeup or anything on um, then it tends to just get completely caked in it and dries out and you can't use it um, that's £12 um, I did have a look online and I can see that um, it's um, yeah it's a two gram bottle £12 and um, it does say new and improved at the minute and it didn't say that when I bought it so I don't know if maybe they've had a lot of feedback to the degree that it's actually not very good and they've rethought how the product is made so it might be something that going forward I will give another go because it's new and improved so you'd hope that that would be the case um, but yeah the initial sort of goes that you have with it it's really great it's just that it doesn't really last very long and you know for 12 quid you get sort of a couple of goes out of it it's not really very good value for money okay so that is everything that um that's empty and that i've run out of and uh, my thoughts and opinions on those and then i have a couple of things in here that are um they're either brand new and i've never used them before or they're some old faithful and i'm going back to them and um, this one is um Bioskin Zeoderm and it's a, a really really gentle moisturizer um, it is um, mainly for use when you have some sort of um, problem with your skin say for instance you have a rash or a flare-up or you know when your skin just isn't feeling at its best and it's meant to be completely gentle and free of any any sort of harmful chemicals and things like that um, but it does also say that it can be used as a daily basis, on a daily basis, sorry. Um, and, you know, it's fine for anyone with eczema, psoriasis, any sort of skin problems like that. My skin is fairly sensitive and for me it's just worth, you know, giving it a try and just seeing if I get the right level of moisturisation out of that. Um, I'm going on holiday soon and I tend to get really sort of dry, itchy, irritated skin whenever I have any sort of sun exposure so I'm going to give this a try before I go um, and if you know if all goes well then I'll probably take it with me and it'll just be a great thing to have on standby um, should I have any any issues. Um, it's a 150ml bottle and that actually retails at £20 on the website so it's really great that they sent me this size bottle um, to try it's very kind of them. Um, they sent that to me along with some other products which are designed to calm your skin down. Um, one is like an after sun and the other is um, for when it's sensitive and flared up and red and itchy as a, um, as a result of the sun but not sunburn. Um, so yeah, that's really great. It doesn't, um, it doesn't 
doesn't have a great deal of scent, which is, you know, to be expected from a really natural product. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. Um, yeah, to replace the mascara, I have this Hypnos uh, Volume Reporter Mascara from Lancome. Um, I've given this a little try over the last couple of days. I've never used it before that. Um, I'm not sure how big the bottle is. I guess at about 8 mils or something. Um, the brush itself, it's very different to the other two brushes that I showed you earlier. It's like a, a rubber, um, sort of thick bristled brush and it's, um, I, to be honest I prefer the other brushes. This one does tend to be kind of harder to work. Um, I have it on now. Um, and it tends to clump. So you have to be really careful not to end up with lots of eyelashes all clumped together. Um, this is an absolutely excellent product. I'm not sure how much this is. I haven't checked, but do you know what? I think it's a couple of quid. I don't remember it being any more than say five or six pounds. Um, it's a really good makeup remover. I've never used anything um, as cheap as this really to, to remove my makeup and the results that I've received from it are amazing. It's so sensitive, um, you know, it's so gentle for sensitive skin. It literally feels like, it's very thin. It literally feels, when you put it on the cotton wool and you remove your makeup, it literally feels like you're using water. Um, but the only difference is that it really, really gets to work at removing the mascara and all of the buildup of makeup and anything else. So it's a great product. Um, Gentle Eye Makeup Remover by L'Oreal and I would definitely recommend that. Only having used it for a short period of time, I'm really impressed with it. Um, this is the uh, Clinique Eyeliner. Um, I've used this for many, many years. It's an old faithful product. It's the Eye Defining Liquid Liner and it's um, it's a two part, unlike the others, which are a pen that you write on with. You have to dip in here. Here's your brush. Um, I'll show you on my hand. It is very sort of viscous, um, but it's great for, uh, for sort of fine detail because it's very pointed at the end. It does take a little while to dry, so um, once you've applied it, don't put your eye, like don't open your eye straight away. Do leave it closed for say a couple of seconds, maybe 20 to 30 seconds, just for the product to dry because otherwise you will get another line. Um, but it's a really good product. I think it's about £14. Um, a bit sad to say, I don't think the product is still in production. I had a look on Clinique's website and I couldn't see that they had it. It looks like they have um, a brand new range of uh, liquid eyeliners that I will be trying going forward. Um, but you can still buy these on some beauty websites and I've seen it on Amazon um, I'm just guessing that it's maybe been discontinued because I didn't see it on Clinique's actual website. Um, yeah, so at the moment as well, um, if you go onto the Clinique website and you're buying any Clinique products, um, they have got freebies with any £40 purchase. I had a little clear out the other day. I went to my top floor bathroom and oh my God, I'm just such a hoarder and I didn't even realize it. Um, I got this quite a few, um, well, probably about a year or so ago. And um, it's Skin Doctors Cosmeceuticals Hair No More. And um, the idea is that you use your normal hair removal methods, I think, I think shaving works, waxing, that kind of thing. I will have to do a bit more research into it because I've lost the box that it came in, which had the instructions. Um, and then when you've got rid of the hair, you spray this on. And I think you keep spraying it on um, and you have it as part of your daily routine. And it's hair growth inhibitor spray. So um, I'm really lazy. And you know, if I could get rid of the hairs on my legs and they never came back, then that would be fine because I wouldn't have to keep shaving them or waxing them and whatever. So um, I'm definitely going to give it a try. I'm a bit skeptical because I think, you know, what they're promising is quite bold and um, 
I think if it makes any kind of difference, then that would be good. Um, you know, less effort for when waxing and that kind of thing. Um, but I'll give it a try. I think I tried it once and um, forgot about it and gave up basically. So that is why it has been at the back of the cupboard. And then finally, well, not finally actually, second to last, um, I have got some perfume samples. I've just put it in this little bag. Um, yeah, I mean, because at the minute I don't want to buy any more full-size perfume bottles. Um, I've got so many and I have got so many of these little samples as well. It is unreal and I might as well use them. They're fantastic for putting in your handbag and taking to work with you. Even taking on holiday, you know, when you're restricted on the amount of liquids that you can take through. So, the ones that I have to try are Dawn by Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, Agent Provocateur, I have smelled that before, it does smell very nice. Um, Angel by Terry Moodley, um, I really like that scent as well. Um, Prada Eau de Parfum. I've used this a few times, it's one that I keep in my handbag, um, I've got loads of samples of it as well and they're just perfect for taking out on nights out and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I do use the Prada Eau de Parfum. I've ran out of my full size bottles so that's why I am on to the small ones. Um, and Sarah Jessica Parker, lovely, that's a, a really nice scent as well. Okay, and then finally, finally, finally. Um, I got this hair care set for Christmas and um, might have been last year maybe. Um, I haven't ever used it. I just completely forgot. I put it in a cupboard. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice and it's things that I would probably use. So here we go. Um, there is a thermal image heat protection spray. Um, I'm quite lazy so I do tend to blow dry my hair rather than leaving it to dry naturally so it is really important that you use something to protect your hair against the heat. Um, what's this one? There's, okay, um, Enrich Volumizing Shampoo. Um, for fine to normal hair. I wouldn't say that my hair is exactly fine, I'd probably just describe my hair as normal. It is quite long, it does need a trim. Um, but I'm always up for trying new shampoos and that kind of thing. Um, it smells really nice, it has like a kind of apple fruity scent. Not too apple but just enough, it's nice. Um, and this is the, uh, the matching conditioner. Yeah, that's the same scent, but a little bit lighter and a bit more creamy. Um, so I will be reviewing these on my blog. I will give them a try for the next sort of couple of weeks. Um, and the same with all the other products. I'll probably put a, uh, a post on my blog about how I got on with trying this. Um, thank you very much for watching my video. Please um, like, share, subscribe. Please check out my blog, which is... Uh, frugalcookie.blogspot.com um, I will put all the links below to my blog um, and yeah please just check it out please subscribe if you have any questions or any comments or you know you have any ideas for a video that you would like me to do then um, you know I'm happy to discuss that with you just pop a little comment below and I will get back to you thank you very much